The Indonesian Armed Forces and the U.S. Indo-Pacific Command recently held an exercise focused on the operational level planning and execution of a combined military operation called Gemma Bhakti 2022. So we have a mutual understanding and, and so we can uh, collaborate and I hope this exercise will give the benefit for us and enhance our equal partnership between uh, Indonesian Defense Force and United States Armed Forces. This is the 10th iteration of Gemma Bhakti. This year's exercise was a staff ex that focused on the military's role in support of defense-led operations building interoperability in the region. The primary goal of the exercise was to improve joint operational level planning in response to a regional crisis and enhance interoperability and professionalism of the nation's forces. For, for the Indonesians, uh, you know, they have similar um, missions per se with the National Guard. They have a, a, uh, a military mission, obviously, but they also serve as the, uh, the 911 for this, for this country, you know, um, for uh, humanitarian assistance and disaster response as well. So it has that flexibility to, uh, from one scenario, military operations to another that could be humanitarian assistance. The Hawaii National Guard continued its support of Gemma Bhakti through the state partnership program. The Hawaii National Guard brings a broad spectrum of experience forged over the past few years and having built J staffs to respond to volcanic eruptions, floods, and the COVID-19 pandemic. So far it's been great. Uh, they do a lot of things similar to the way U.S. does it and it's a little bit maybe like outdated doctrine that we use. So getting that perspective and having that like baseline understanding and then kind of building on it with the new um, the new processes and procedures that we're using has been has been really great. Uh, One of the key differences in this year's Gimba Bhakti was the implementation of the TNI's Kogab Wilhelm structure in the exercise. The Kogab Wilhelm is analogous to the U.S. Forces Combatant Commands. It's different because you got the Kogab Wilhelm uh, uh, involved in, in Gemma Bhakti. In the past, Gemma Bhakti has been an exercise that involved U.S. Um, military and the TNI um, from Indopaycom and the, the TNI. And, and it had always been kind of joint where you had a, you know, Army, Air Force, uh, Navy, Marines on both sides involved in Gemma Bhakti. Uh, but uh, it was more of a, um, a general training of uh, the MNCC, uh, the Malta National Coordination Center, through the use of the um, NF MNF SOP, which is the Multinational Force Standard Op Operating Procedures. And uh, the scenarios have, have changed um, a lot throughout Gemma Bhakti. Um, and, uh, and this one is no different in this case. We have um, a fictitious island, a nation that uh, is, is threatening uh, uh, some national security interests of Indonesia, and we have the Kogab Wilhan, which is their regional joint commands, to come up with a potential joint task force that could address some of the issues that um, the scenario is, is presenting here um, during the training. The TNI and Indo-PACOM provided participants from each of their military components, the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, along with representatives from non-governmental agencies. Gimba Bhakti also provides a personal and professional broadening opportunity for all of its participants. Uh, the, just my interaction with the TNI has, has helped me develop as a leader. I think um, there are different approaches to different problems, to different types of people, to different organizations, and I think uh, my experience with the TNI has been a positive one. I think um, probably the most rewarding experience is, you know, learning a little bit about uh, my warfighting function, which is intelligence and then sharing what I know with them. But it's never been one way since I've been here. They've always either taught me something or I taught them something, and it's never just been a one-way relationship. This is Master Sergeant Andrew Lee Jackson reporting with the Hawaii National Guard.